Just approved a surge in funding for local health responders. Several viruses are active this month and the demand for shots is surging as well. And News Channel reporter John Palminteri shows us how the money will be used. I know that the flu has been incredibly challenging for our public health department this year. Central Coast health leaders on several levels are collaborating in their prevention efforts to slow many active viruses. This public health primary care integration is even more urgent now. In the setting of the current surge, our communities are experiencing with influenza and RSV, the respiratory syncytial virus, joining COVID-19. Congressman Salud Carbajal says the Department of Health and Human Services budget has $1.6 million in local federal grants to do outreach and make more shots available. The funds will go to the Santa Barbara County Public Health Department, Santa Barbara Neighborhood Clinics, Community Health Centers of the Central Coast, and the American Indian Health and Services. The timing, especially with active virus strains and the holidays, is urgent. Less than 20% of eligible Santa Barbara County residents have received their bivalent booster to cover newer strains of COVID-19. That's compared to 70% who got the initial vaccinations. Prevention now will prevent our hospitals from having a surge of patients, which we have seen before. As fewer people get seriously ill with these diseases, fewer people wind up in the hospital or needing healthcare resources, which allows us then to take care of others who are in need. Even with our experience so far with the pandemic, there are still no clear ways around the risks. Infectious disease does not care what you do to protect your health. Very healthy people have died of COVID. Very young people have died of COVID. Very, very uh, vulnerable people with multiple medical problems have lived through COVID. The financial boost for the latest round of shots will go to multiple clinics that may be behind on keeping up with the need. But new variants have meant we need new vaccines. And unfortunately, we are lagging in getting those new boosters out at the same rate as our initial ones. Medical officials across the board are also stepping up their community outreach to groups that may not be aware of the new and growing virus concerns now as we head into the holiday season. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter John Palminteri. Two of the nation's largest pharmacy chains are limiting purchases of ibuprofen and acetaminophen for children. Both are in short supply and high demand right now.